Oh, sorry. I was just reading the newspaper and I saw Alex has been uh, formally, finally, <laughs> finally been convicted. And I've been saying it for a long time. She needed to be convicted. She's a criminal and she's done heinous acts, you know, all those drugs she's been taking and supplying to other people. I mean, if you're going to kill yourself with drugs, do that. But don't kill others, you know. And then all of the crap about public indecency and exposure and whatnot. She's, she's a mess. And I was, I was just looking through the newspaper. I saw she's being convicted on 12 counts of a drug abuse, I assume. And she'll be uh, in prison for seven years. Um, and I want to, I want to think, I want to ask you this. Are you surprised? Because yes, it's, it's shocking. But are you surprised? I'm not surprised. I'm shocked. I, I'm, I'm, wow, you know, she's finally been convicted, but, but I'm not surprised. This was a long time coming and all those crimes and all that hateful rhetoric and, and crap she talked, it's, it's about damn time, you know, and she's, she's promoted this idea of, of intense leftism, you know, almost to a point where it's socialism, communism, Marxism. We can't be allowing this. And obviously, I am a Democrat, and I faced her in the Democratic primary. And I know she's she's a mess. She's crazy. But, but like, I'm not as extreme. I'm not as uh, adamant about my policies and all that. Obviously, I want to be Judy McMillan's. That's true. But I'm not out here saying we should kill her. Hell no. Judy's a grandma. She's a mother. She's an ex-wife. She's uh, a dog owner. She's a neighbor. And she's a friend to many. We shouldn't be killing our political rivals. That's not what sh we should be advocating. And when I saw that Alex called for me to be murdered, I was, it was disgusting. I was, I was upset and I was concerned because there's 19 million who, people who voted for her. And she's saying that to those people. And it's just, it's concerning and it's upsetting. And I don't, I don't know how we'll go about it, but the fact of the matter is I defeated her in the Democratic primary in, in you know, unseen numbers, huge landslide. So I'm sitting here at my desk um, and, you know, we've, We've got a country we need to save. I, I always say it. And if we don't properly educate ourselves, we can end up with a president like Alex Robertson or worse, Stacey Williamson. I mean, I'm not saying Judy's that bad. I'm not even comparing her to them. I'm saying if we don't vote smart, you know, in the future, we could end up with a President Robertson, or sorry, Robertson or President Williamson uh, not in this election cycle, but in the future. And it's just, it's beyond crazy. And, you know, I saw that video that Stacey Williamson posted and oh, the well, the three videos actually, I had my campaign manager, Miss Pat, Pat, Patty Barnes, Patricia Barnes, um, you know, respond to that because I was hectic night, but you don't want to hear about that. Um, and, you know, it. I was in awe. I mean, I we all know Stacy's crazy, crazy Stacy. She's something else. We all know that. But to see her spew such, ugh, it was a cesspool of just incompetence and emotion. And obviously, yeah, it's a bummer to see an innocent or not an innocent woman. Uh, a lady get convicted, but she's committed crimes. And when you commit a crime, you got to go to jail. That's just the cold, hard truth. And I, she was just going off the rails. And to see her driving behind the wheel like that, that is scary. I mean, I don't think Stacy should have a license point blank, period. But to see that, that go down, who could she have killed? 
better yet, who has she tried to kill? Let me tell you, she's tried to kill me, shot me here and here. Somehow, by some miracle, those doctors worked magic. Thankfully, the bullet grazed my neck and shot me right in the elbow. Goodness gracious, I'm a mess. Shot me right in the shoulder. And by some miracle, I survived. And uh, it's just, it's crazy. You know, she's upsetting so many people and and she's she's running for the de for the independent party let me tell y'all her being an independent well quite it's just it's crazy how did she get the nomination let me tell you the people who voted for her they voted to install a candidate who they can control so i mean to my independents who voted for her who didn't vote for her who voted for her and are now concerned I offer my campaign to you I'm talking to you right now you know Stacy's crazy Alex cannot even be vice president and I, Stacy vows to pardon her and all that but she's not gonna win so <clears throat> I want to speak to y'all if you want to vote for a new candidate, if you want change, if you want our country to unite under one strong leader, one beautiful American flag, I offer myself, my candidacy to you. I, I want, uh, you know, way back when, you know, uh, before I even dropped out back in April, I thought about becoming an independent. I even thought about becoming a Republican for a little while and then I, 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 I came back to my core values and realized they are a little more democratic but that's besides the point. I see myself as a candidate for all the people whether you be you know from the right to the left to the middle of the independence you know we our country it's something beautiful it's beautiful but if we allow such despicable uh, vermin to enter the White House. I, I fear our country's downfall, but she won't win, don't worry. So I offer myself as a candidate who appeals to all Americans because I hold very independent views. You know, I believe abortion should be left up to women. I advocate for uh, f uh, medical freedom, but I also, you know, if you don't support abortion, that's all right. These are debates we need to have and conversations that must be heard. And, you know, I'm willing. I, I want to cooperate with all people, you know. I want to be a president for the people. You know, our government is supposed to be for the people, by the people, with the people. It's not that anymore, but I will make it once more. So that's my message tonight. If you're an independent upset with your candidate, I can be your new candidate, and I want to be. And if we just vote smart, I think we can make a change in this country. I want to thank you all for listening, and remember, we've got a country to save, babes. Me and the surgeon got history. I changed a lot of girls' lives for real. They need a new body, they hitting me. Hey, BBL Drizzy, they want a new body, they asked me for it. The last one, John, he did it for free, because I sent over so many plans ones for him, but red. Don't even worry about all of that shit. Just keep it natural for him, I swear. I got a passion for you, I swear. I got a traction for you, I swear. Yeah, you think I'm a bachelor girl, but I swear. You ain't get your